I hope this video goes well, cuz if it don't, I'ma cry. Yeah. Yay! <coughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, it's me, Ali, and welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, Valentine's Day is on Friday, Friday, got to get down on Friday. And you know, Valentine's Day is the day of love and romance and passion and so some chocolate. CHOCOLATE! CHOCOLATE! That wasn't funny, okay. Okay. <laughs> If you guys didn't know, I've never, ever had a boyfriend. Let me speak in my actual accent because some of you guys get confused. So, I've never had a boyfriend. And so never having a boyfriend, is there something? Do I have snot on my, oh my God. Not having a boyfriend means not having a Valentine. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, or whoa, whoa, whoa. That sounded so bad, but like you get what the frick I mean. I'm lonely. I've never had a Valentine. The only Valentines I got were the ones at school or the ones that you found on Tumblr that were like really like ridiculous. And I actually looked a bunch of those up recently and saved them because I, you know, don't have a life. But that's besides the point. I've been recording for three minutes. I've literally not gotten to the point. Basically, loves and bruvs. Today, WikiHow is gonna tell me how to get a Valentine because clearly I can't do it myself. I've been alive for 20 years and I've yet to figure it out. It's supposed to be three steps, but they have like 15 because it's like five steps under each step. <laughs> first step is attracting your potential. The first step to it. I'm looking at this on my laptop, my rinky dink ugly ass beat down used laptop that I pay $200 for. First step is attracting your potential date. Clean yourself up. You need to take a nice long shower so that you smell good. Scrub the especially sweaty areas such as the legs and under your arms. Consistently brush your teeth. Make your you brush. Make your you brush your comb hair. Make sure, make your you brush or comb your hair. I think it's supposed to say make sure you brush your, okay. I did shower last night. I'm clean. I shower at night, preferably. There's nothing like going to bed when you're freshly clean. I'm clean. Shave and maintain your skin. I mean, you don't gotta shave, but I did shave my legs the other day. I shaved in like five minutes and my legs bled out. Sorry. I had to wear two band-aids on my legs because one leg I cut my leg on glass and the other I shaved too aggressively. Visit the gym. Ew, what is that ad? All I will do is abs and squats. That's it. Apply an enticing fragrance. How about this Walmart fragrance that I bought called Sweet Love that's almost gone. Oh my God, that smells really bad when you put a lot on it. I'm doing a very bad job so far. Okay, dress with class and style like this, right? Just a sweatshirt and biker shorts, right? Right, Um, maybe not. Should I change? I'll change. Give me a second. Like this, right? It's really simple, really conservative. You know, it's classy. I think I'm nailing this, like spot on. This is going incredibly well. It says, for girls, maybe wear a nice dress. We're moving on, okay? I, we're moving on, I don't give a shit. I, we're moving on. We're moving on. <laughs> Step number two, asking your date out for Valentine's Day. Uh, this is gonna be exceptional for me. I'm very good at asking people to do things for me. I don't have anxiety at all when it comes to asking people, especially boys, to go on dates for me. Because with me, you've seen how many boys I bring to the yard. It'll be, it'll be great. It'll be great. It'll be great. Engage with your potential date in an interesting conversation. That's how I tell you who my date is, okay? It's Harry Styles. I know what you're thinking. Very shocking. All I have to do is have a conversation with him. So I'm gonna text him and we're gonna see how it goes. Hi, my curly haired king. I have something very, very important to ask you. 
dot 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 let's see what he says i'm so excited like this is gonna be it for me like as i'm gonna have my first valentine's day and i can't believe it i'm so excited like i've been waiting my whole life for this my 13 14 12 year old self would have never expected this okay he messaged me back let's see let's see what it says <laughs> what am i doing <laughs> um <laughs> he said who is this what do you mean, silly goose? This is Leah. Your sugar plum fairy, your baby cakes, your sweet dumpling pie, your lover, your everything. It'll be fine. He always pretends like he doesn't know who I am. And then whenever I say my name, he's just like, haha, I know. <laughs> Kidding, babe. Like it's pretty chill in this relationship, you know? That's funny. He said, stop texting me or I'm calling the police. Next, next step. Be confident. This is the key to asking your potential partner out on a date. While being shy can be cute, most of the time you will want to exude confidence. I think I did that, so hopefully Harry will come around and we'll see him at the date. I know he'll show up, I, I, I know he will. It'll be fine, it'll be great. Oh, yeah. Oh. Utilize the weekend before Valentine's Day. Well, good for me. It's Monday. I missed out on the weekend. Gosh dang it. I can't do anything right! Can I do anything right for this dumbass Valentine's Day? <laughs> it's fine. Let's continue. Buy Valentine's Day items. I already bought the perfect one. This teddy bear. He may be from Christmas and I may not have actually bought it. It may have already been gifted to me, but Harry won't know that. He's gonna think... This is the perfect Valentine's Day bear. Maybe I'll um, take off the mistletoe and replace it with a heart. Okay, give him this to Harry when he comes to the date because he will come. Let's see what the options are for our date. I think it's going to tell us our different options for where we can go on the date and then I'll decide and then Harry will follow through and meet me. It says one, go to a restaurant. This is a classic Valentine's Day, usually a quieter place where a quieter place works best like an italian restaurant rather than a sports bar or club i, I hate sports bars. i was like <laughs> unless harry loves them then i love them set up a romantic date at home this is a great option if you think that there is a high chance of intimacy i do believe that i do i got Sorry, I got caught up. Get a group together. You can go to a restaurant or I'll go to the movies. I think this is a stupid ass idea. I would never because I need my chance to get Harry's attention. If I have other people around me, you know, the rest of One Direction around us, they'll just start singing because that's what they do, you know? So I need Harry's full attention. So he will sing a song to me, hopefully woman, because I love that song. And I think it's a great song to do a lot of things to participate in a blind date. No. Use apps to find a date. Hell no! Alright, so having a date at my house is and specifically in my room. Right over there on the floor. <laughs> so excited i guess since i've decided to have harry over for my for our valentine's day date i guess i should make dinner i'm gonna start making dinner so let's go to the kitchen harry's gonna have the time of his life i'm gonna make him the best gourmet meals possible all right guys we're in the kitchen i put on this jacket because i don't want you guys to see my armpits i don't like my armpits and that should only be for harry to see anyways i'm a master chef i love to throw down in the kitchen you know what i'm saying steaks chicken creme brulee Stay. All those things I love to cook. I'm gonna start and then I'll show you guys what I did. You gotta do the cooking by the book. You know you can't be lazy. Never use a messy recipe. The cake will end up crazy. If you do the cooking by the book, then you have a you're not ready for this i love cooking so much it's my favorite way to pass time i should have been on master chef junior but you know they just missed out so i guess i'll sign up for master chef master chef <laughs> ready isn't it beautiful so many hours so many ingredients all by me no this is not a tostino's pizza is perfect i'll catch you guys when the pizza is out and fully cooked from my sweet love and ingredients and we will prepare the setup for the date <laughs>
Okay guys, so then now it's time to set up for the date now that my pizza has been freshly made, handcrafted by me. I have some cute things I'm gonna just lay out. It's gonna be so fun. First, I'm gonna lay out this pillow because it's cute. It doesn't matter that there's stuff under my bed. He'll be focused on me and my cute face and my freshly baked pizzas. It won't even matter. I'm gonna lay down this pink blanket for us to sit on because pink is the color of love. So is red. It's mainly red, but this is as close as I got. So pink it is. Lastly, I'm going to put this unlit fall scented candle right here between us so we can summon the spirits of love. No, I don't want that. So we can set the mood. Mm. In case you wanted to see, here's the pizza. I may have burned it, but a burnt pizza is just personality pizza. We're all set up for the date. Now we just wait for Harry to come. I'm so excited. Six and a half hours later. I'm sure he'll be here. Don't even worry. Mm -hmm. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Ha ha ha! Pranked ya! This video was all satirical. I'm not really trying to get a Valentine's Day. I know it'll never happen, at least not anytime soon. Ha 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 ha. I'm changing my shirt right now. I'm done. Okay, clearly this video was just a joke. It was decent advice, but like just, I don't have a boyfriend and clearly Harry Styles doesn't know who I am yet. We're not, we're not, I can't say it because in my head we are and I just want to keep the fantasy alive. Yes, it sucks kind of sort of when you don't have a Valentine's Day, but like when you don't have a Valentine's Day, you can dip your pizza in your ranch and mind your business, you know, and be naked. This is stupid. Just don't take this video too serious. It was literally just a joke. This is my second time filming this because the first time it was me just giving Valentine's Day advice and I sounded so dumb. I just had to rely on WikiHow. You can probably tell throughout this video, I can't act to save my freaking life. <coughs> Maybe you just take it if you're single and take it as a day to love yourself. Give yourself some chocolate. Give yourself a teddy bear. Netflix and chill with yourself. That's always fun. Show yourself some respect, bro. That's on we love ourselves. That's on self love. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Never forget to subscribe. I'm sorry if you hate this video. Sorry I'm eating while I'm talking. That's so gross. <laughs> I love you. I'm hiding my food under my tongue. If you don't have a Valentine's, I will be your Valentine. My volunteer is tribute. I don't know. The Katniss of love. I love you guys. Bye. Oh, wait. <coughs> If this sucks, I'm going to literally shart on myself and throw it in the air and cry as it hits the ceiling. All right. Goodbye.